Hi, this is Yad Ali from Qatar University. We continue our basic C++ uh, tutorials and in this program we will write a simple C++ program to add two integers. You simply need three variables, let us say x and y, and of course you need a third variable to store their sum. So let us say our variable is going to be x and y and sum, and they are all integers. You start by creating a new project. As usual, go to File, New, Project. Click on Win32 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, Win32 console application. Give your project a name. You can also check the location of your project. You can change it if you want. Now click on Next and make sure you check the empty project checkbox. Click on finish. You have now an empty project. To add a program you either right click the project name in the recent project window or the project name in the solution explorer. Click on add new item, code, C++ file, give your program a name. And now you click on add. As usual with any C++ program, you start by the hash include I or stream, no semicolon, follow it by using namespace std, add a semicolon at the end of the line. Then add the integer main function and curly presses to start and end your program. Return zero is also needed at the end of the main function. Save it. Now you need to uh, create or declare your variables. I need two integers for this program. Integer x, integer y. Of course you need to store the result in a third variable. We will call it sum here. All the variables are integers. Now we need to prompt your user to input a number. Cout statement, which is the console output, is used in this case. Cout enter x will give a very meaningful message to the user. C in x will read the value of x and store it in the variable. Cout y, enter y. Always add a space after the Cout messages. Now we have the two variables, x and y. We can now add them and store the result in the sum variable. Sum equals to x plus y. So now the sum variable will contain the result of the addition. Or the left hand side variable will contain the result of the expression on the right hand side. I use cout sum to print the result. I get no errors, one succeed, zero failed, and zero warnings. I can now run my program. Debug start without debugging. Enter X. Give any valid number. I enter two numbers. I get 17. And after 17, as you see, I get the press any key to continue. It's always a good idea to add new line after the cout statement, especially if it's the last statement in your program. Now I added a new line, compile the program to run it again with the new changes. I get the result, but press any key to continue is in the second line. It's also a good practice to add a message before you print the sum value, like sum of x and y is then you print the actual value of sum, the value that is stored in the variable. So whatever between the text, uh, the double quotes will be printed on the screen, and then the value stored inside sum will be also printed right after the message. I compile and run it again, enter two integers, I get a better output now, sum of x and y is 16. Another improvement K 
can be like uh, I print the actual values of x and y in my output like x and then the plus sign then y then the equal sign and then sum after sum it's always preferred to add a new line now your output will look different but it will give a very meaningful message to the user what are the values of x and y and what is their sum if i run the program again i enter the value of x the value of y so i get 9 plus 13 equals 22 since I have two different output messages now, I can get rid of one of them, or you can just comment one of them. If you comment it, it will not be compiled and run at runtime. So for the time being, I'll just comment it. It's also a good idea to add a comment on top of your program to uh, explain the use and any other information you think is necessary for you or for other programmers working on the same project. 